this is this is how it works. You walk in, you scan the phone, it watches your face, it knows who you are. You never see a cashier. You watch. You walk out. He barely even looked at that sandwich, by the way. Can you back that up, Will? I mean, I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but like, I feel like when you pick a sandwich, you look at the sandwich. It, Kirk agrees with me on this. Like, you don't buy. You don't pick. No, Will he does. Will maybe that's his go-to. Back, back this up. Back this up. Back this up. I would not let this get through. Like he walks it was in. A couple seconds. No, Will, you do not buy a sandwich like that, dude. Yeah. Will, you inspect your sandwiches. I've been with you look, at Starsky. The itself or the label? At Starsky, you look down, you examine the sandwiches. Nah. Oh, man, he's such a liar right now. Anybody would look at a sandwich a little longer than that. Maybe he just works. He looks like door. a guy that was hired to be in a commercial to grab a sandwich. He doesn't look like a real sandwich shopper, and I'm not happy about it. And if I was the director on this particular commercial, he'd be doing it again. Her as well. Don't just be throwing things in the bag. Look at it. It's a shoplifting. Examine that. It's too, it's too rapid. Oh, man. That really irritated me. <laughs> this I, is an ad. <laughs> I apologize. It, it is an ad. I apologize. Okay, fine. That got me fired right up. I just, it's a simple thing. Like, just look at people shopping. Go to a grocery store and look at people shopping. And then there, you got it. You're not just chucking things all over the place like that. Let's see here. He, yes, him, he, go back. Yes, yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. You look, you, 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 you grab it, you look at it, you examine it. Her too. She, that's right. That's what you do. That's how you buy food. Sorry I had to inform you, Will, about how, to, how you buy food here. Clearly, I've been doing it all wrong. You've been doing it all wrong. You got to inspect the thing a little bit because you don't know what's in there. Oh, she came back for the cheesecake cupcake. All right, this is, I'm not talking about the question. I'm talking about the commercial. Uh, unfortunately, fortunately, I'm not really sure. I apologize for that sincerely. If, uh, if that wasn't your thing right there, if, it, if you're like Will and you just start throwing things around, you just get into a store and you start throwing things into your bag. He inspected, I like that. Uh, but if you're like Will, then I apologize for all that because you're obviously on his side with this. But I think there's more people on my side. You got to inspect the food. So uh, it's, um, it's, it's incredible. Obviously, this is the future. To, in, to, in order to answer the question, obviously cashiers are not going to be happy about this. The automation of planet Earth. Where does everyone go? What does everyone do when it's all so simple and all this time is saved and productivity goes up? All of a sudden, these people, they can, they can be professionals longer during the day. They can work harder because they, they get to save the time with the cashier. They can buy more. They can interact with the uh, economy in a free-flowing manner tapping away on their smartphone screens it's obviously it's the way it goes we've seen the self-checkout at almost every store now like you can that's the first stage but where do you eventually end up this is where you end up why do you want to why you got to interact with anyone it's your world it's all for you you get to do whatever you want it's all for you will what do you want you want the cheesecake you get the cheesecake okay do you think that we're still going to have brick and mortar or is everything going to be online? Well, this is brick and mortar. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you, so you think this thing is, is bogus. Well, there's certain, Will, I mean, there's certain things. What do you want to, we talked about the sandwich. You're, what are you going to do? Order a sandwich on, or it'll be like uh, Uber Eats or whatever. Yeah, it could be like automated every day. I'm not a big Uber Eats. Can I just, am I going off topic right now? I'm going off topic. Maybe I'll save it for another time. I'm going to save it for another time, but. I don't, I'm not super into the whole delivery, uh, bad experience. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I still want to pick up my sandwich. If that's the question, uh, he says, will it catch on? Absolutely. It's going to catch on. Convenience always catches on. Convenience is the human thing. It's the human weakness. Oh, it's easy. I'm in. I'm not saying me personally, but like there's evidence of that being the case all over the place. And this is incredibly convenient. It's fast too, which is another thing for people. People, it's speedy. Have you ever been, if you're in a big city and, and lunchtime hits, it's a nightmare. You know, you're downtown, lunchtime hits, everybody's everywhere, just hungry, zombies, savages. They need something to eat. That's why I don't like this guy. You know, he's not really doing it the way I want him to do it, but.
But nonetheless, uh, it's going to catch on. It's the future. We're, we're going to live there eventually soon. I would like to try this out myself. What are the cities right now, Will? Let me know. What, how many cities are we in with this thing? Are, are, or are we still just in Seattle? Oh, here we go. Seattle, Chicago, and San Francisco. Uh, Ten locations. Now, do they have any others planned? Let's see here. Downtown Seattle, Madison Center. South Lake Union. Chicago and San Francisco. New York City confirmed. Okay. Chicago Loop. All right. So, oh, there we go. What is it? The last 3,000 locations across the United States by 2021. They were considering it. Amazon is considering 3,000 locations by 2021. Holy moly. All right. So chances are you're going to bump into this thing sooner or later. And I got to say, it's just convenient. It, convenience wins, whether you like it or not. I don't know. You might enjoy talking to your cashier. You might, you might say that you do. And then when you're faced with the choice, the convenient choice, when you can get out of a place faster, find what you want faster because everyone's flowing through there faster. There's less traffic. Less ca Where's the congestion in the supermarket? It's at the cash. The, where you got to wait. And uh, you're going you're gonna to feel like a loser standing there waiting because you're not set up on the Go app. And you're just standing there waiting. You're like, oh, I just, I'm going to talk to the cashier real quick with my cheesecake. It's not going to fly. You're going to have to watch everyone else with their apps and their face scans walking out the door. You're not going to do it, Will. You're not going to do it. Neither is anyone else. So yeah, it's the future. It's absolutely going to catch on. Locations are coming everywhere. Get used to it. Amazon knows you, your face. They know how long you look at a sandwich, all right? They're going to judge you, Will. You take a sandwich too quick, they're going to judge you. You take too long, it's all going in your data profile, right alongside all your purchases on Amazon, the website. And you don't, you don't want the world to know what that's about. Oh, boy.